Hello, welcome to my course uh, Programming Problem Solving 2 Lab Section W01 in Spring uh, 2019 at the Kinesa State University. So, my name is Mokhtar Hussain. I will be your instructor for this course. So, as you know, or you may know, in order to access the content of your course, you need to log in to your Kansas State University's uh, D2L system. So once you log in, then you will see your uh, dashboard over here. On your dashboard, that you will see this is the course uh, Problem Solving Lab uh, in Section O3 in Spring uh, 2019. This is the course you need to hit. I will hit it over quick click over here quickly, but before I click over there, as you see that I, in this spring 2019, I have been teaching three other sections of uh, the theory part of this uh, course. <coughs> Programming uh, Problem Solving 2, uh, one section 2 and section 3 and another online section. So in order to do well in your lab section you need to be uh, be well and regular in your theory section as well as so once you click your section over here then you will see uh, the course home page and course content so on the course home page and course content page maybe click on the content page you see at the, at the home page you will see the learning modules and the lecture videos and then click start here over here see so if you click start here then you see the syllabus lab schedules and then syllabus um, schedules okay then let me click on the content page again so on the content page, if I click on the content page, there you see the also you see the start here, learning modules, lecture videos, and then these tabs. So if uh, I need to add syllabus, okay, actually there is I need to add syllabus for this course, right? Okay, I will add syllabus for this one, okay, and. Uh, see the lab schedule i will add a syllabus here and for the lab schedule if you click over here then you will see the version 2 actually when you see a latest version version 2.5 or 2.6 please always receive always download the latest version by clicking on the download folder and, and follow the latest version or also i have uh, added a, li a course schedule link over here so if you click on the link over here you will see you will be redirected to the first year experience page course schedule page and then click on uh, lab schedule here 1322 then you will see the lab schedule so this is the uh, latest content up until today okay so you see let me give, go through a quick uh, go through a, a quick overview of uh, this syllabus see there on the course that there on the left column this weeks there are 16 weeks and on the course dates by week are given here and the topic main topic are over here and then we'll discuss and then there are two kinds of lab assignments lab lab and assignments these are assignments these are assignments and these are lab in lab that means you are uh, you have to either present for face-to-face -face lab you have to be um, present in your lab class or online for your online section you have to do yourself so this is the lab 1e lab 1b lab 2a lab 2b and this is the schedule and these are the assignments you need to submit the labs on d2l but you need to submit the assignment on grade scope later i will show you how to submit uh, lab on uh, on d2l and how to submit uh, assignment on your grade scope so you need to log into your grade scope using your kinesa uh, email address 
be careful about there are some uh, some difference here you see when week eight you have to complete lab 4a and 4b okay together both because these are simple so you will be able not worry and on this week you see this on this week there is no uh, assignment for a for a is actually a is at pseudocode so no assignment for pseudocode but you have to complete um, for b okay that's the source code and as well as on the week 14 you have lab uh, assignment 7b but there is no 7a and on this assignment you have lab 7a okay on this week you have lab 7a so we will so follow this instruction please so and all assignments are due by midnight okay all assignments and the labs are due by sundays uh, due on sundays by midnight okay so please uh, follow the instruction and um, remind it that that the, you have to submit your labs on d2l and your assignments on great scope okay by sundays before midnight okay and these are the due dates these are the due dates so for the first weeks there is no lab due okay nothing due but uh hmm, the next week you have uh, not due you don't have anything due but uh, no assignment due but you have a lab in lab uh, due okay so i will go through this in lab actually lab 1a is about uh, let me go through lab 1a content so spring uh, lab master and then lab 1a okay so lab 1a is about just, just review and uh, be familiar with eclipse please note that in other section uh, instructors may be uh, may be allowing you to use um, j graphs or other uh, id but in my section i want to be strict with eclipse because eclipse is a very useful tool ide and most of the companies they use eclipse so i have not seen any company that uses uh, jgraphs so you need to be familiar with eclipse so here you need to be familiar with eclipse and you will download and then you will do eclipse tabs okay so i will this is the first lab it is pretty easy and the second lab is also uh, hmm, uh about is 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 same thing our linear search and you can go through this as since you have already done a uh, searching algorithm in your last uh, or previous CSE 1321 uh, course okay and then okay so in order to guide you for the lab 1a okay so the how to be in, how to install Eclipse and how to be familiar with Eclipse I like to uh, forward you with some resource okay so that uh, okay one thing that I will go there quickly but uh, let, let us go back to the course content over here so on the d2l you see uh, on the d2l on the left column you will see a lecture videos here you will see lecture video here and on the section you will see you see CSE 13 tw 22 section 2 and section 3 and I also teach uh, another section online section I will quickly add this uh, links other two sections here give me a second please okay so I have added two other section for the online section and uh, for the for your lab section okay actually for your lab section uh, if you click on this section then you will see that the videos i i will be uploading these videos on this uh, playlist as well as i will be uh, giving uh, a link to other 
useful resources that you may need in order to complete your labs and assignments for instance uh, sometime uh, uh, later I may need to uh, forward you to watch videos about Java FX okay uh, there or then something something related to Java or Eclipse related configuration or something but for now in today's class uh, the beginning and welcome class I like to uh, ask you to go to my um, job my this uh, Java and Eclipse related playlist I have a playlist here okay Java and Eclipse related videos so please follow this uh, um, videos please follow these videos and, and then especially CS here please follow the video store how to check your uh, version of your video, uh, version installed on java version if you have installed java on your computer works. okay how to install or uninstall java and especially uh, do so this please watch this video how I'd to like install to, java jdk uh, and how to download install and configure eclipse, eclipse and how to create a new uh, project like uh, with eclipse the and then once uh, you this, go through this this three yeah, especially the last three videos then i like uh, you to uh, come to your course content uh, over here and then uh, here be strict with either if you are in a online section or if you are not in my section then if you i like you also to to watch my videos in uh, that i teach in other sections for 13 22 section 2 or section 3 so in section 2 we meet three times a week and uh, this is my that is there are Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 12.20 to 1.10 p.m. And on section three, we need we meet uh, twice a week, um, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. So if you want to uh, come and join in one of my face class, uh, you are welcome. And please let me know i will give you uh, a location the location address and permission okay or if you want to watch uh, the and the lectures for my online section you will go to to this link okay so actually for the section 2 we meet to, uh, th three times so lecture videos are shorter and for section 3 lecture videos will be larger so um, follow these sections and then for instance if you follow section three is okay and then you see i have one videos uploaded here i will upload other videos here quickly and then but if you go to maybe section two maybe section two how many videos i have uploaded so every week i upload new videos over here i have two videos over here but i like you to watch these two videos first thing first just to be familiar with your and organize with familiar with your pc and organize your pc and and there are some quick tips you need to know in order to be uh, 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 to do in order to do well and fast uh, complete things fast and quick on your computer okay and then one thing that i wanted to mention that actually this course is and the lab especially the lab this course is a very good course but really it will be tough it will be tough because the content this is the foundation of object oriented programming this course will be needed uh, for your next courses upper level courses, advanced level courses like data structure and algorithm and software engineering courses so in order to do well in software engineering or uh, computer science or information technology uh, major you need to do well in this course so uh, there is no exception that you can do well in this course okay so one request i want to do on uh, to tell you that please be honest and do not cheat 
Okay, sorry for using the term. Do not cheat in the in terms that please do not ask anyone else to work for you for your assignment or your lab because the problem will be if you do not do yourself if you cheat if you do not give attention if you do not learn from this course ultimately you will be loser but if you do if you do yourself you try yourself if you practice yourself you will be gainer and you will learn the foundation of object oriented programming very well very very well and then it will uh, help you to graduate with your intended degree very smoothly otherwise you know if you if you ask someone else to work for you then what will happen for your other courses or when you go to a job interview uh, or when you work for a job place no one will help you right and you will not perform well so in order to do well in this course you need to do yourself you need to con uh, practice yourself and you need to face problems and you need to solve problem because you need to remember that the and the uh, uh, actually it will be programming the title of this course is programming problem solving so you, you need to know how to solve problem right so then you will uh, strengthen your knowledge in, in this course so please for now please watch the videos that i just recommended you to and install and uh, install java jdk and eclipse uh, on your computer and start programming so if you go to my lectures lecture series the latest lecture of this week you will see i have started in my face to face class how to program with eclipse and i also started uh, um, uh, pushing my course on my github account so at the end of this last class you will see how i use github in order to push my code on my uh, github account okay and i will show you one thing so if you uh, go to my playlist channels and playlist you will see there is a uh, another uh, playlist is called git and github related videos so if you watch these videos like nine videos have spent and the uh, two hours about two hours two to three hours you will be able to start with with git and github okay, this is very easy and convenient and if you need help so please uh, add your programs uh, as a pi private project on github and make me me means uh, cs id at experts as a collaborator and then uh, um, email me what if you need any help you see that i have my uh, csit experts github project and i am i will be putting my course over here and from this there is a good thing that recently uh, from this week early this week github allows us to uh, create pub private project for free previously it did not allow us to create private project so it asked us to pay seven dollars plus taxes per month but now we can uh, make our project unlimited number of project for free uh, privately okay but there is a limitation that you can have a maximum three collaborators okay uh, that that is not is an issue so that is all for this course so what you will do please uh, go through the course content course home page and follow this instruction and sometime time to time please uh, look at the announcement okay now please look at the announcement and um, whatever um, sometime in the announcement i will ask you to watch some videos so please follow uh my uh, announcement okay and finally if you want to know more about me so please click on this my personal blog list and then you will get uh, some information about me and my study work and research okay thank you so much and then i look forward to seeing your great success in this course and please feel free to uh, contact me
okay another thing is the last thing again sorry maybe i forgot please do not send me an email from this d2l email system okay always please send me email from the university or university email to my to my gmail ad, to my sorry sorry to my ksu email address okay so you know my ksu email address is m a s o s s a number one two at kinesa.edu please do not send me an email from this year because if you send me an email from here it will be forwarded to my kinesa email but when i reply you it will not be forwarded to here or to your email address so then you will not get a reply from me okay so um, please and always for any contact purpose please send me email from your Kinesa email system do not send me email from your personal email system like gmail or yahoo uh, okay thank you so much thank you and you have a uh, good weekend bye bye